Good morning YouTube and this is going to be a video on a little project I've wanted to do for a while but I've had to wait for certain parts uh, to come from certain places which we'll go into shortly. This is going to be um, stage by stage uh, re-sculpt of uh, Vulcan, uh, the Primark I've been using in the Great Crusade. So first off I'm going to start with a base um, sculpted by Temple Crusades 01 and the legs are from uh, Chapter House, same as the body. Uh, they've recently released a True Scale Praetorians uh, kit and I thought that would be the perfect base for what I want to do so I'm going to green stuff up around the legs and get everything sorted there. Uh, so that's the legs, uh, just touched on the body so that's going to be a base, plenty of green stuff going into there um, the resin seems to be quite easy to file down. I've done a bit of work on these uh, to prepare them first off. Uh, the rest of the parts, uh, I've got Grey Knight's uh, Terminator Flamer. I've gone for Terminator parts on here because I think they'll be uh, the right kind of size proportion for a Primark. Uh, if you try it with normal uh, Space Marine arms, they just look a bit too too small. So that's the left arm, that's going to be the gauntlet of the forge, so uh, that should fit on quite nicely. And for the right arm, uh, Grey Knight Terminator again, so a bit of cutting, sculpting and filing down should go into there. And I've got one of the force spears here, force halberds, so just let that focus in. So I've got that there. And then I've got two choices of shoulder pads. So both from Anvil Industries. And if we can get them both in. Uh, the ones on the right, these ones here. These are the ones I've been using for my Terminators. Uh, so I quite like those. Uh, quite angular, quite uh, quite broad. Broadens modelled out nicely. But these ones, these ones... Uh, kind of curved, um, you know, kind of enclose everything in. Similar sort of styles once they're on the model, but I'll decide when I get the arms on the model and see which one looks best. And for the head, I've got a lizard man, a GW lizard man head. So there's going to be some cutting in there like I did before on the first model. Uh, I'm going to base it around uh, a space marine head, just a spare head I've got. Uh, it doesn't matter which sort because you're just kind of cutting back to uh, leave that much left. And then I've got a couple of interesting bits, some more Lizardmen things. Uh, I think these are the shoulder, so armour shoulder for the Lizardmen. I'm just going to use those on the knees. So just uh, enhance the greaves slightly. And lastly, I've got part of a high elf uh, helmet here. I'm going for the batwingy things on the side, the dragony caped things. So the plan is to roughly show you, just put those in to the uh, the side, just to give it some more detail in, on the inside of the uh, the chest. So some of the artwork I've seen of Vulcan has got like a, a raised uh, some raised armour coming up around his head so we're going to see what happens there and the last bit is uh, reading Promethean Sun uh, it describes Vulcan as having a mohawk of all things so uh, this is a head I've got from Max Mini so if the scaling looks alright I may do a bare headed Vulcan rather than a uh, a helmeted one so we'll see what goes on there um, and then that's all the parts I'm using so if we go on you can probably see the tools in the background so here we go the basic standards of tools that you probably need doing a project like this so start off uh, you've got your glues in the middle uh, plastic glue uh, super glue just that's a, a thick mix of super glue. It tends to cover a bit better than the thin stuff. Uh, and then you've got activator for the super glue. 
uh, just, just pick these up in most model shops uh, it just makes the cure time on the super glue uh, a lot less it dries quick enough as it is but it's handy to have that little bit of uh, quickness to it you know, if you've got small fiddly parts you just want to stick in sometimes they don't go straight in uh, then we've got trusty hobby knife I've got two here, one's got a, a newer blade on uh, your files and then we move on to probably some of the more important parts f uh, for getting things stuck is your green stuff so uh, I got this stuff from uh, Total War Gamer I think a while ago this is uh, Gale Force 9 is the company that do these uh, you can find them either on uh, most modeling sites like uh, Wayland Games or uh, Total Wargamer and eBay so I think that's where I got mine from was eBay in fact and then I've got the GW liquid green stuff uh, filling in any little gaps and gaps uh, gaps and joins that I can't quite fill uh, got the emery board actually um, one thing I missed off the main tools filing down the parts get a nice clean fit and then obviously for my green stuff in uh, capes and that. I've got my little press mould that I made a while ago. Uh, that's in some use. It's uh, definitely helping with the fire drakes. And then when it comes to green stuff you need a nice little tumbler of hot water. Just helps it helps it all soften up and uh, apply together. So guys that's the introduction. Um, I'm going to get on. I'm going to sort the body out. I'm going to position the body. Get a bit of green stuff in there. And I'll come back to you guys uh, after that. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, that's the uh, first stage done. So I'll talk you through what I did. See, uh, I took a little ball of green stuff, like so. And placed it on the hip joint. And put the body on it just to give it that extra little bit. Uh, I sized it off against a normal marine. Uh, to, uh, one of my tactical marines. And as you can see, it's giving it that little bit of extra height. Because they are on uneven bases, so they're a little bit taller than normal. So against the Terminator, uh, uh, it looked to be round about the same size. So I just needed to give it a little bit more height, as I just said. And then I added the Lizardman shoulder pads to the knees, just to increase the armour. And then our green stuff around the the rest of the legs just to bulk it out a little bit and blend in the uh, blend in as you can see here, just take the pin, blend in the armour to the knee joints. So all I've got to do is wait for that to dry, uh, sand it down, um, and then the next plan is to get a tabard in the middle. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, so if you remember from my other Vulcan model, he's got uh, some a cloth hanging down, uh, some robes and that. So the plan is uh, to do the same again. Uh, a couple of ways you can do this is just put uh, a sheet of green stuff over the top, which will work quite well. Or as I've seen on some other tutorials, uh, you fill in the gap in between the legs and then actually sculpt in. Uh, the robes and that. Uh, never done that before myself, uh, so I'm just going to stick with what I know. Maybe at a later date I'll try something uh, like that on a normal Space Marine. But for now, uh, I'm going to leave that to dry uh, and then do some work on the on the robes and on the arms. So I'll come back to that shortly and uh, probably going to take a break actually wait for that to dry and then crack on with everything else in a wanna so guys um, it's coming along nicely uh, I've got great hopes for this and uh, we'll see how it turns out in the end and then like I say plenty of work to do still though but I'm not even halfway there yet for what I want to do but we should get there uh, quite quickly uh, that green stuff only took me half an hour so not too bad Right, see you guys shortly.
Hey again guys, right, so I've sped things up a little bit. Um, I've decided to stick the arms on and wait for everything else to dry. I've done the robes in the in the middle there. I uh, lost some of the detailing off the off the press mod that I used to try and get some dragon scales on there. Uh, it's just by manipulating it. But with the state of the washes that I uh, used to paint, uh, especially the new GW ones, uh, they cover better into the minimal recesses, so it shouldn't be too bad. It should come out quite nicely, and the general paints are a bit thinner, so I don't lose the detailing. So, I'm not too fussed. I uh, found some more lizard men bits. Uh, I put them on the chest just to add a, a bit more of a an ornate armoured look there. So, I'm going to go over with green, uh, liquid green stuff. Uh, to blend it into the armour rather than it just looking as though it's plonked on there. Uh, they did have spikes on them, uh, but I took the spikes off the plates because it looked a bit too Madonna-ish from the 80s. Uh, the older ones amongst you probably know what I'm getting at there. And uh, I modified the back of the spear as well. Uh, a bit in line with what I've got with the present Vulcan. And I just added the... Lizard man head there, you know, a bit more ornate, so I quite like the look of that. So, uh, and there we go, got the forge on there at the moment. It's not looking too bad, uh, just got the shoulder pads to put on, so it's either that one there, which I quite like. Uh, it'll fit in with the Terminators, and then there's the rounded ones, uh, quite bulky. But I'll figure all that out once I've uh, gone onto the head. So I've just put that to one side. So for the helmeted head, uh, I'm looking at these. So if I just zoom in. So basically what I'm going to do is, fingers in the way, uh, cut that head down and cut that head down. I'm going to use the back of this head. So I'm going to use sort of from where you can see that mould line and the front of the salamand, the lizard man head. Once it focuses, I'm going to cut down as close to the eye as I possibly can in the jaw line and then mould that onto the front of the helmet. So probably just in front of that and it should line up nicely with where the eyes are supposed to be. So I'm going to get on and do that and uh, catch up with you guys after I finish that phase and show you how it looks. Alright guys, so that's uh, pretty much me finished with uh, the new Sculptor Vulcan and here we go. So I've gone for the bareheaded pose there with the uh, angular shoulder pads rather than the curved ones so uh, these ones here they just would have bulked out the model a bit too much and I think that works quite well the way it's gone there I've sanded down the uh, legs a bit with the liquid green stuff just painted that on uh, let it dry sand it down a bit and then I've just gone on to the cape so the next bit is uh, just get the backpack on and then paint it up so all that will be in part two so I'm gonna uh, let this dry do any final touches and get the backpack sorted and then uh, that's it for now uh, I think for my next video I'll probably do something along the lines of a where I'm at with the pre heresy stuff so you know the size of the army as it is now what I've fitted in and what I've done since the initial video. So guys, cheers for watching and enjoying, hopefully enjoying the sculpt of my new Vulcan. I say sculpt, I haven't really done a lot, just the cape mainly. But the legs from Chapter House Studios certainly did help and then any other bits you've got laying around you could pretty much do quite a similar thing yourselves. A nice bit of imagination going on. Uh, it's been quite enjoyable for the last day and a bit to do. So, cheers for watching, guys, and hope to see you soon.